Testing, testing. Hello, everybody. My name is. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Benny, and welcome to the Fool's Apprentice. Okay, hashtag Saturdays. So it's the beginning of a new year, and I'd been thinking about what kind of hashtag I wanted to do. And I looked at several that were out there, and there were a few videos that weren't hashtags that I thought, actually, that I think would be a good hashtag. And it's goals for 2024. So today's hashtag is goals for 2024. Or maybe it should be tarot, hashtag tarot goals of 2024. Or 20, hashtag 2024 tarot goals. No, I don't like that. I think it's going to be hashtag tarot goals 2024. That's what it's going to be. So welcome to hashtag. I already forgot. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. <laughs> hashtag. I'm, I'm, you can see me looking. I'm processing. Okay, today is hashtag. Hashtag. Uh, hashtag tar tarot goals oh my god okay here we go yeah and today is going to be hashtag tarot goals 2024 i had to say it really slow <laughs> oh my god i'm in a mood let me tell you the last few days have been really rough i have not felt well at all in fact i stayed home instead of going to work um, I don't really call into work very much, but the last two days I was like, I am not feeling well. So I decided to stay home and take care of myself. And that's exactly what I did. And I'm starting to feel a little bit better. I still feel really tired and drained. Uh, but, you know, I, you get me around tarot cards. You get me in front of, you know, this equipment with you. And my mood always, always comes up. So I have that, right? So today we're going to be talking about some goals that I've been thinking about now. Oh my God, I got to bring my phone out. All right. And the reason I got to bring my phone out is because I have like my goals from August. So for those of you who don't know, um, I started my YouTube channel, channel in August of 2022. So then August of 2023 was one year. And then I had some goals that I wrote for that. And I've already like accomplished some of them, which for me is like, wow, super exciting. So some of the things that I accomplished was I wanted to get by next August or this coming August was 500 subscribers. I just passed 600. Oh my God. I like, I thought I actually sat and thinking, God, I don't know. Can, can I do 500? That's a lot. And the fact that I got 500, and it's January is like, I'm like quite taken aback. So my new goal for next December, December 31st, is to have 1,000 subscribers. If I could do 1,000 subscribers, that would be bonkers for me. And if that happens, I'm going to have a big giveaway. What a big giveaway means, I don't know. That's a year away. <laughs> unless it happens sooner but i will have a giveaway a really nice one because y'all have been so nice i get such nice comments it's very it's very sweet to hear the comments that you leave and i try to respond to all of them as quickly as i can i've had some constructive um suggestions which i found absolutely helpful as well and so those i do welcome because it helps me make the channel better makes whatever it is that i'm doing better so so that was one thing that i accomplished uh another one is uh, create more dynamic tarot videos all right i don't for me this is dynamic um i have transitions <laughs> in my videos so now i have transitions like when i say flip the camera over i have a transition and then when i come back another transition so i i'm thinking that's dynamic i've also changed the color of my walls and i added these color lights here to add you know some something different uh and i really like the way this is looking it's coming out great 
Um, so I've accomplished that and I still am going to continue to work on that because there's a lot more I can do. Um, that one I haven't done. Fin okay, I focused on a deck for three to six months. That was the uh, Terra Volatile. I'm still not done, but it's a work in progress. Uh, make more interesting videos. I think I'm getting there. I still, I still need to like do something more creative. Uh, okay. Oh my God. Have a special tarot YouTuber guest. I've already had three, which has been amazing. And I already have three other people who have committed to come onto the channel and do a tarot chat, which I am really loving. This is so much fun. I finally get to meet YouTubers that I like watching their videos, who I'm just curious about. You know, I was actually talking to one through voice text or voice message. I don't know how, what you call it. But we were sending voice messages back and forth on Messenger. And one of the things was like, you know, I, I remember sitting one day thinking, you know, I'd really like to talk to them and get to know them a little better. Because all I would see were the cards, the arrangement of what they had around the cards in their hands, and then their voice. And there was always just something about one person here, or one person there that made me just want to get to get to know them a little bit better and just ask some questions. And also just to talk about tarot, like I have nobody that to talk about tarot. Now, somebody did reach out and let me know that we do have a place in San Antonio. I haven't been there yet, but uh, my goal is to get there soon. But it, it's nice to be able to talk to y'all about tarot and have somebody who's interested in what you're saying. Because let me tell you, when I talk about the tarot to my friends or my family, I could see the eyes glazing over. <laughs> so, yeah, tarot chats. I'm really, it's, I'm having a good time with that one. And then we stay in contact, which is also really awesome. I'm making friends, like tarot friends, which is great. And then another one is find two unicorn decks. I have found two unicorn decks plus. So I'm going to make a video specifically on unicorn decks. So I'm not going to talk about those right now, but I found, I found some. And then, all right. All right, but that's pretty much it. Oh, bloopers. I've added bloopers here and there at the end of my videos that it's something that I'm working on. So I've done that. So I've done several things. So what I've done is I sat down and thought about like, what do I really, really want to focus on? And I don't want to add too much onto my plate because then how am I don't think that I would be able to focus on what I need to do to accomplish uh, the goals that I have for myself. I found that the last time I had like 15 goals, I'm like, gosh, that's a lot. At the time, I didn't think about that. But now I realize that's a lot. Right now, I have eight. But re uh, but <clears throat> but um, I think one, one of them, mm, I wouldn't really say it's like a, one of those things that I have to actually do. It just kind of happens. So... Goal number one, and there, these are in no particular order, but goal number one is that I have a lot of decks. I went psycho crazy in the first year and a half. Like I bought way too many decks and that was because I was, I was new and I was caught up and I was enthusiastic and excited about having all these beautiful decks and I gotta have this one and I gotta have that one and the excitement of getting them in the mail and opening them up. <laughs> I really fell for it, but I have too many decks. To be honest, I got too many decks and I'm not gonna really be able to use them all. So I'm gonna start slow, but I'm gonna start purging my decks. The decks that I know I'm not gonna use, decks that I feel in the long run I wouldn't really benefit from. So I'm gonna do like, I'll do videos on the decks that I'm going through, which are gonna be put aside to either give away, to sell, to do something with. So I'm gonna be purging and reducing my decks, which coincides with goal number two, which is really be consciously aware of what decks I'm buying. And so I have learned about me is that 
I see a deck and I get all jazzed up about it really, really quick. And I, I go do research, I look at some videos, and yes, hit buy, purchase, yes. And then I get it and I'm like, oh man, I don't know, I shouldn't have bought this deck. <laughs> so what I've learned is, if I can sit with that deck for two, three days, it will let me clearly know if I really, really want this deck. Sometimes it is FOMO. Sometimes it is like, everybody's getting this deck, I want this deck too. And the truth is, I don't really want that deck. It's just, I got caught up in the excitement of it all. So if I can give myself some breathing room from the initial excitement to actually purchasing the deck, I really think naturally, my deck purchases will reduce significantly. So that is, so the, really the deck buying, like consciously reducing it, I think it's more about being conscious about giving myself time before I purchase. And in that time frame, I will have, I will actually have a better feel if it's a deck I really want or not. Um, you know, cause these decks, some of these decks aren't cheap. I'm very lucky that I'm fortunate I'm very lucky that I'm fortunate. Hmm. I don't know about that sentence. It's a double positive. But I'm very fortunate that I, right now in my life, have the privilege of buying decks that I want. As many as I want. Uh, now, I'm not rich. I do have, I, I do budget. But when it comes to tarot decks, I, I very rarely budget. So, you know, I, I think having that moment to pause will just naturally allow me to pass on a lot of decks I would not normally buy. So another goal is that, um, and it's an ongoing process. I ended up buying Final Cut Pro and I'm learning it little by little, but I wanna actually spend more time, especially with the color grading. Like if I, I'm looking at my screen here, I think my color grading here looks pretty good uh, considering that I don't know anything about lighting and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and so I'm thinking if I could learn some color grading, I can make the images um, much nicer. Uh, the color is more real. Also, then I can play with certain colors. Like maybe I can bring these colors in the back, saturate them a little bit more, but keep myself the same. Or maybe make the back black and white and keep me in color or vice versa, just to change things up. Also, I'd like to be able to... Um, learn how to add more stuff to the screen. Like if I'm talking about a particular deck or something, maybe they're having the deck pop up in a window here and it flip through or a specific card. And I can do that kind of, um, but there's a lot more that I feel I can do with Final Cut Pro if I just took the time to sit down and do it. Now, I'm gonna write this down because I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a confession. All right. Oh my God, I'm gonna do a confession. Let's see what that is. So, uh, another thing that I want to be able to do and learning Final Cut Pro will allow me to do this. If you've noticed, all my thumbnails are of me looking into the camera with decks of cards, pointing at some text, something. And I, I don't know, you know what? I, I actually really do need your feedback on this. So hopefully you've made it to this point of the video and I haven't burnt, uh, uh, bored you to death. Is, do you like the thumbnails as I'm creating them right now with me and the way they are? I can still improve those. Or do you actually like uh, images that people have for their thumbnails? Uh, like they show the cards and then they have a title of what it is. Um, or they have a moving, uh, a picture of a deck, uh, several decks of cards with the theme of what, what the topic is. Uh, or do you just really like, you know, me front face looking at the camera with an idea of what's going on? Uh, I like those, but I'm, part of me is wondering like, maybe that's one of, one of the things that I could change that it will help my channel grow because then people would be more interested in what I'm presenting and more of me how I'm presenting it with my face uh, on the thumbnail. I hope that makes sense. So that's one thing. I want to be able to improve my thumbnails significantly. So I got to do some research on getting that done. 
Um, and this year, okay, y'all knew, I, I talked about this, I think, in my last video. Journals. Oh, my journal supplies. Yes, in my journal supplies, I talked that, I tried the journal thing, it was horrible. <laughs> so this year, one of my goals is to really do journaling through the whole year, like really journal. And not do, not like my daily draws, because I have Instagram for that. Uh, I take a picture, I write my thing, and I post it on Instagram. But when I do the journals, it's more about a study journal. Or like Don Michelle has her monthly medicine. We're doing a, she's doing a brand new thing this year that I want to participate in, having a specific journal for that. Uh, and so I want to have these practices that I do, that I journal. And I'm hoping that in journaling this year that I will grow in my skill in journaling and how they look aesthetically but also how I tend to read the cards because I want to be able to see how my reading the cards go when I look at a journal and I, it's, I think it'd be the easiest way for me to do it but that's a goal journaling I bought the supplies I better do it so next is um, I think the biggest one of them all is Get, get by December, I really need to get to a point where I have a basic understanding of all the tarot cards where I don't necessarily, where I don't have to rely on uh, the white book. You know, I sit there sometimes and let's say like the five of pentacles. I know what the five of pentacles means, but sometimes what happens is if I, I draw cards, for some reason I get thrown with a five of pentacles and I'm like, no, 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 no. Oh, and then I have to go look. And I don't know if it's because there's all this information and um, I'm kind of overlapping them. <sighs> That's not even true either. I'm trying to process what I'm, what, what's really going on. I think what it is, is because if I look at the Five of Pentacles, that doesn't happen with the Five of Pentacles. I think it happens with cards that I'm familiar with, but don't really know well that all of a sudden... I look at the card and I can't kind of like freely recall it. So let's say the Seven of Swords. Um, sometimes, like right now, I have to think about it, but I, I know the card. It means trickery. It means, for me, uh, it means doing something behind people's backs, trying to get away with something, sneaking around. It could be um, trying to... Uh, pull the wood over somebody's eyes. Uh, it could be trying to manipulate a situation for your benefit. It, it can mean all these things. But in that moment, I struggle. And I think a lot of it is because I don't have a strong basic command of what the card means. And I'm not talking about, it can mean all oh, these 15 different things. I'm thinking having one or two really solid ideas of what the card means that it will allow me to kind of build on it. So that's what I want to do with the 78 cards. On top of that, I am um, in having a conversation with a YouTuber who I went to for some clarification. This person talked about elements and numbers with the tarot in a way that I found um, jaw dropping. And as they were talking about the card and were bringing those two elements into the tarot, I was flabbergasted how much more information can be drawn from the card itself. I, I'm not kidding you. I know that the numbers and the elements have an impact on what the card can mean. But the way this person was doing it, I was godsmacked. I was like so impressed. It also let me know that I still got diapers on when it comes to the tarot. So... I also want to be able to learn the numbers and the elements at a very basic level as they associate to the cards. So I have, I'm going to redo my studies and I'm going to start with the elements, the numbers, and then deep dive with the tarot cards again. Uh, I, because I think if I, I hear that, not that I think, I hear this a lot, that people suggest if you read the elements and the numbers, you can start reading the tarot. And I'm like, okay. 
And so I'm going to give it a go. Um, the last time I tried to study the elements was last December. I mean, August, I think, when I did that hideous journal. So I'm going to do it again. And we're just going to go through it. It doesn't matter if the journal is ugly. I just need to learn how to do it. And I have a couple of ideas of how I'm going to do that, which I will post later in videos as I'm learning these different things that I need to know so I can become a tarot reader, like one that I could like say, yes, I'm a tarot reader. So those are the things that I'm going to focus on in this next year. Now, mind you, things change. I'm a human being. I can modify these. I, I'm allowing myself to not be caged into these eight things. I actually was seven. The other part that I, I forgot to mention was I've been feeling... Um, Sometimes I feel pressure to get a video out, especially on Saturdays, because it's hashtag Saturdays. And I'm going to remove that from my shoulders. I'm going to post videos because I want to post videos, not because I have a set schedule. So if I miss a day or a week or a hashtag Saturday, that's going to be okay for me. Because like I said during the video that I talked about this is, I, I always want this to be fun. I really enjoy this. I never want this to feel like a job, like a burden, like a task, like something I have to check off a list. I want to do this because I really, really enjoy doing this a lot. This is so much fun for me. It is one of the things that when, as soon as I sit and I turn that camera on, I just can't help but smile because I really enjoy this. And so I need to make sure that I don't mess with that by feeling like I need to do it because I have this pattern that I've decided to do. So I'm going to do my best to put them out there when on a normal schedule. But if I miss a day or two, it's going to be okay for me because this is going to be fun no matter what. So going back. Um... I don't even know what I was talking about. What was I talking about? Um, I'm like a tree sometimes. I branch out and then I can't find my way back. Um, oh, oh well. Oh yes, I know the disclaimer that I can change my my goals as as the year goes by. And you know, it's like any goal. One day, you know, uh, something happens in life that you have to kind of pivot. And so I'm going to allow myself permission to pivot as well. But these are my goals. Now the confession. Okay. I am known to set lofty goals <laughs> and struggle to make them. I am known to get very motivated in the beginning and I'm going to do it and this is going to get done. And I get up and I'm really good for like two, three, five weeks. And then it's like, oh, I'll skip today. Oh, you know, I'll do it later. And next thing I know, I'm struggling to get the stuff done. So I am going to make a conscious effort to accomplish these goals because they're important. They're important to me. And so that does actually make a difference. What makes even a bigger difference is that I enjoy it. But I... It's okay to say, hey, Benny, well, how's your studies going with this or that? <laughs> and since I respond to, uh, to the comments, I will give you an honest answer. So some accountability, uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm open to. So we'll see how that goes. Well, those are my goals for 2024. Remember, this is hashtag tarot goes 2024. I got it. I, oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Until next time. Oh, and I want to see you. So do them. I, I really, I'm like, I really want to see what people's goals are. All right. Bye.